drop this shit. Gonna loosen up. All right. Hi, you all. Welcome to Shell's Kitchen. Um, this is my first video ever. Um, I just started to start this YouTube channel. Uh, just basic recipes um, for, you know, the single dads, the teenagers, uh, just the people that just really don't know. Um, these are not fancy recipes. These are just basic, quick, easy recipes for you to feed you and your family and get full, basically. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get started. My first, Our first dish today is going to be my chicken pot pie. It's very simple. It's just like five ingredients. Quick, easy. The kids will love it. You will. Okay. So as you all can see, I have two chicken breasts here. These are just regular chicken breasts that I got from the store. I've already rinsed them off and I put them inside of a shallow uh, skillet, as you can see. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just lightly season it. Normally I use seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and pepper. But when I went to the grocery store, my cookies, I forgot to get the seasoning salt and pepper. So we're just gonna wing it with what we have. Um, so I'm gonna start just lightly Seasoning the chicken like this, you just want a little little flavor in there. You know, you just don't want no bland, plain chicken breast. And then I'm going to go ahead and lightly uh, sprinkle it with the garlic powder. And then we're going to use some onion powder. Probably about a half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon, tablespoon of each. Um, then now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. And I'm going to get some foil and cover it. And we're going to put this in the oven at 325 for an hour. Hour and 15 minutes. To your discretion. Me, I like to make sure my food is all the way cooked. I'd rather it be dry and burnt than uh, soggy and uncooked. So I like my food to be cooked all the way through. So yeah, just put it in the oven at uh, 325 for about an hour, hour and a half. These are the ingredients um, that you will need. You will need you a bag of peas and carrots. You can get this from the frozen owl in your grocery store, uh, about a dollar, dollar or two. You will also need some butter. You will also need a can of cream of chicken soup. You will also need some sharp cheddar, shredded cheese. And last but not least, you will need your pie crust. And these are the ingredients you need. So you just need your pie crust, your carrots and peas, butter, cream of chicken, and your sharp cheddar. Okay, so this is what the chicken looks like once it comes out the oven, uh, lightly seasoned. Again, we just did two chicken breasts because I'm just making a little small one. What you wanna do now is just take your fork and just break your chicken apart with the fork. That's why I put the butter in there. So that it'll break up easily. Just break it up with your fork real good. Just get your hands in there a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean. Always wash your hands. Keep your hands and kitchen clean while you're cooking. Alright, so once you get your chicken all broke up, like so, we're gonna add in all the ingredients. So we're gonna take our cream of chicken soup. Excuse my nail, y'all. I just went and got my nails done today and they're already chicken. So I'll be back tomorrow. All right, then what you wanna do is get your shredded cheese. And you wanna do about two handfuls of the shredded cheese. Just want two handfuls of your sharp cheddar. I already got one in there. Do another. All right, and then now you wanna add the peas and carrots. Look at my bowl, you see I got my chicken, I got my soup, and I got the cheese so far. These are three ingredients. Now we're gonna add the peas and carrots. Uh, the peas and carrots can be frozen or they can be unthawed, it's completely up to you. If they're unthawed, of course, it'll cut down on your cooking time. And what you wanna do is just mix it all together. Mix it all in real good. Peas and carrots all through there. You got your soup. Cheese melted all through there. Y'all remember them banquet Popeyes back in the day our mamas and daddies used to give us and grandmas? This is just like that, but way better. It's way better than that. But I know everybody remember those. We all used to eat those as kids. Damn braids all in the way, y'all. Excuse me. 
All right, so I have it mixed up real good. And the last thing I'm gonna add in here is a dash of salt. A dash. And a dash of pepper. Yes, that was a dash. <laughs> About a half a, half a, half a teaspoon, y'all. Dash and a dash. Yep, dash and a okay. dash. They just wanna mix it in real good. It's looking good already. Yes, it's gonna be good. Okay, so now that we have that mixed up, look at that, beautiful. Okay, so now that we have that mixed up, what we're gonna do is get you a whatever little um, pan you're gonna use. We just using this, it's this a, uh, it's a nine by 23, just a little pan I got from Walmart. So I can just. The favorite store. Right, Walmart, it's everybody's favorite store. We call it the wall where they got it all. Where they got it all. Wall where they got it all. What's that? All right, y'all, so this is the pie crust. And what you want to do is unroll it, and you're going to set it in your bowl. This is the bottom of your, of your pie pie. What you want to do is just press around to make sure you get all the bubbles out. This is the bottom of your pie pie. You can not trim off the excess excess dough all right and now what we're going to do is we're going to simply scoop this inside mm. so good yeah my kids and my baby loves this they eats it up every time and never be leftovers. Let's say that. Never be leftovers when I make this. We eat it all. All right. Now what you do is get your other part. Another thing too, y'all. If y'all making this meal, I I should recommend. I recommend that you get the Pillsbury pie crust. The reason why I say the Pillsbury because I noticed when I bought the cheap and store brand store crust, when you go to unravel it, it don't unravel. Y'all just be a mess. I noticed that the Pillsbury, Pillsbury got it together, y'all. Look, you just slow down a little bit. And another thing too, y'all, when y'all making this, you want your pie crust to be at room temperature. So like me, I just been having this out the whole time, out the refrigerator. You want it to be at room temperature. So it'll unroll easy like it's doing and it'll do what you want it to do. It won't be all stiff. And then now what you do, Then yeah, you can take off the access. You don't take off too much because everybody loves the crust. That's the best part. And you just want to go around and just actually put it with the, um, actually connect it with the, the one up under there. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to show y'all a trick for the pie pie. Just get you a fork, a regular fork, and you just go around the edges so you can get that pop pop feel. Homemade pop pop. You just gonna go all the way around with it, y'all. It is that pop pop feel. Yes. Ain't no pop pop without these lines, y'all. You ain't got these lines. I don't know what the hell that is you done made. You done made a pot. Not a pie. And that's it, that's all you wanna do. And then we got one more thing to do, y'all. Then we are gonna put it in the oven and let it cook another 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so one more thing. Grab my butter. So you remember earlier I had butter there. What you want to do is get like a tablespoon and a half and you want to put it in the microwave because you want to you want to melt it. Get you a little brush or whatever you got, a spoon, a fork, and you just want to brush it on there, y'all. Just like this. And what this is going to do is make it that that crunch, that um that crispiness. It adds the crispiness to the pie pie. Delicious. Now this is totally optional. 
I've never made it without the butter, so I don't know how it would turn out without the butter. Uh, but yeah, you can always use a light butter. Use whatever butter you want. You just want to brush it like that. And look at that, y'all think we're done. Clean up my mess here. And we have a pop pop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven on 350 for another 25 to 35 minutes. All right, you all, so this is the finished product, fresh out of the oven. Um, as you can see, it's not quite perfect. I've made better pawpaws, uh, but the taste is consistent. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Um, again, uh, my recipes are not fancy recipes or hard recipes. These are recipes that I make for me and my family, and hopefully I can help you out, pretty much is what I'm doing with this. Um... So yeah, that's that's it. We made the chicken pot pie. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Time to eat.